All right, you guys want to know how to spot a gym douche right off the bat? Right there. Oh, did you see that? Literally just throws her sweater on the ground right behind her. Could you imagine some big Hulk, like, mf -er, like, walking through there with 150-pound dumbbells and does not see that thing and trips over it, wiping out, like, you know, half the gym along with it? All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to Aegis Athletics. In today's video, we're going to be going over a fitness TikTok Karen who was caught in 4K being a gym douche. Now, the comment section in her original TikTok video had some arguably unreasonable comments uh, agreeing with her. Now, I totally disagree with her actions. You guys can watch the video and uh, be the judge for yourselves. Basically, what you're gonna see is her taking a video for her TikTok and her about to basically Basically engage with the gentleman all the way across the gym from her. Also, make sure to subscribe if you're new and smash that like button while saying oh yeah like you're the Kool-Aid man. So let's get into it. Alright so I was surfing the interwebs about fitness and TikTok and trends as I normally do and I came across this absolute gym that's been going around. Um, now essentially what's going on is the female in the video she's getting ready for her next set or she's getting ready for to do something I don't know. She's got all her weights and everything like strewn about basically in the background, you know, so I, I don't know what she's doing. She's got the uh, preacher curl all set up, weights not racked. She's got dumbbells on the ground with her water bottle knocked over. Like, yeah, pretty much you can already tell she's going to be a gym douche. Now, few and far between, there are actually female gym douches. Most of them are men. I don't disagree with that. But today we actually get to catch one in 4K. And when I stand up for myself, he threatens to call the police and revoke my membership. All right, so first of all, and as most of you can tell, it's all the way across the room. I mean, you literally have to zoom in 100x to just get a feel of like the facial expressions these gentlemen are potentially and assumedly making all the way across the room. Okay. Um, so that's kind of what she's pointing out right now. You see her kind of like, it, like put the text in above that, like, oh damn, like, oh shit, like dude's checking me out. Let's continue. I mean, realistically, let's look at it. She had to have been looking for a fight. I mean, nobody in their right mind, like, would would take, like, somebody's look all the way across the room, nonchalantly, not even, like, bothering her, not even in her space, not going out of their way to bother her in any way, shape, or form, continues on and pushes it and pushes it until he actually is, like, so confused about the situation, he has to ask, like, like, what do you, what do you mean? Like, what's going on here? Do you need help? Like, and realistically, I don't even know at this point if she knows that he's an employee of this gym. Like, that's how arrogant she is in this situation. Um, I didn't know he was an employee of the gym either. I just, you know, I just thought he was some random bystander, but it makes it so much better that he is actually an employee of the gym. So let's check this out. Okay, so he he he's already said if you're gonna be rude, you you can just leave. You know, he gave her a warning. She continues like like uh just on and on with this gentleman. He he says if you can be rude, you can leave. She she goes well, and that means what? That means what? Blah blah blah. Like like literally pushing the issue. The unfortunate thing that I see here as the as the video continues on, which we'll show you here in a second, is that it seems as such the um I don't know the manager or the actual owner tends to side with her. Um in this situation because the 
employee is not able to kick her out. She actually brags about how she finishes her workout. Walks out of the gym like nothing ever happened. Like she wasn't just a gym douche. Like she didn't just disrupt that gym and those gym goers. And more than likely, she just interrupted the gentleman actually working out. People who go to the gym to better themselves and to work on themselves and to make themselves healthier show people kindness and they show others respect in the gym to the utmost degree. People who go to the gym for ego, they eventually let their ego get the best of them. I mean, that's just how it is. They feed and thrive on their ego, people like this. And like I said, normally it is men. And I will admit that normally nine times out of 10, it is men. But female gym douches exist too. And this is a prime example of one. Like I said, she's got everything thrown all over the floor back here. No respect for anybody but herself. She's the one who thinks she owns the gym. Once we get them back, I'm going to give them right back to them. Really? Say, congratulations, you played yourself. She's the one who thinks she has the right to, I don't know, the attitude. Right now, would you like that? Go ahead. Okay, cool. Go ahead, let them know. That's what we'll do. So right now, I'm just going to take your stuff and hit up front. All right, she said you can do something. We got other in the middle of the room. Oh my gosh. Okay. And so that just, these types of videos just trigger me to no end. Yeah, I admit they trigger me. People like this trigger me. If you act like this in the gym, don't even go to the gym, please. Like just, just leave your attitude at home. 99% of the people in there are trying to be positive, better themselves and work on themselves. And if you're going to be the individual that just ruins that kind of vibe going in there, then just leave. Like don't even go in. Don't open the door. Don't think about driving to the gym. Don't put your keys in the car. Don't open the front door to go to the car, to go to the gym. Don't even wake up thinking about the gym. Just don't. Save everybody the hassle and don't, okay? Like I said, the gym is for betterment of yourself, for betterment of those around you. You know, if you want to get together with some friends and better each other, like this is, this is what the gym is for. The gym is not to act like this and think you can get away with it. Now, like maybe she was having a rough day. I will say that, but that doesn't excuse like this type of behavior. But on top of that, there's another clip and I'll try to post it in here along with this. I couldn't find it as of right now, but actually what happens is she takes another TikTok, decides to put it on the internet of her, like I said, finishing the workout um, completely, like she, like putting her butt in the mirror and like, you know, flexing on it and shit and, and just pretending like nothing happened and she wasn't just the biggest, rudest individual in the gym right there. What are you guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. I think she was totally out of line. I think the, gen the two gentlemen back there, you know, you can't really blame a dude for, you know, kind of peeking over and checking what's going on as long as it's not harmful as not long as he's not going out of his way to ogle and bother her like it's just like a couple peaks it was almost like i said that she was looking for trouble like she was literally looking to go out of her way and cause trouble for someone that day and it now i'm really mad just happen to be an employee and uh, more than likely their client, uh, like a personal trainer and their client. So um, not only did she like disrupt like the personal trainer's client, what I assume their session, but she just totally made an ass out of herself in front of, well, you know, the internet. It's everybody. It's millions upon millions and billions of people. So I don't know. Like I said, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Leave a like on the video and make sure to subscribe if you are new. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.